Hey everyone, welcome to another English grammar lesson. Today we're gonna to be covering commas in location. So there are three parts to most locations, right? A street address, a city, and a state. And all we need to do with our commas is just separate those three things away from each other. That's it, it's that easy. So let's start with the street address. A street address could be something like 44 Parkway Drive. And what about a city? Well, a city could be Detroit. And for the state, let's just go with Michigan. Makes sense, right? So altogether, you might have a sentence that looks like this. I live at 44 Parkway Drive, Detroit, Michigan. So like I said earlier, all we need to do is separate those different parts away from each other with commas. And oddly enough, I actually like to start from the end for some reason, so just bear with me. First of all, what state are we talking about? Michigan, right? Cool, so let's just separate that out. And we do that by putting a comma at the end of Detroit. So now we've got our city separated from our state, but our street address is still connected to our city. So we've got to separate those things out too. And we do that by putting a comma at the end of the street address, which means at the end of Parkway Drive. And that's it, it's that simple, we're done. I live at 44 Parkway Drive, comma, Detroit, comma, Michigan. And that is literally as complicated as it gets. I mean, you might need an area code or something in there, but that would just go after the state without a comma, so not a big deal. Anyway, let's try a few. He moved to Atlanta, Georgia when he was eight years old. Okay, so what parts of a location do we have here? Well, I see a state and I see a city, and that's it. I don't see a street address anywhere in this sentence. So with just these two things, all we need to do is separate them away from each other. And we do that with a comma. Let's try some more. Send me a letter at 6672 Amway Avenue, Sacramento, California. Hmm, okay. Let's take a look here for a second. What do I have? Well, I see a state at the very end. I also see a city. And I see a street address. So let's separate those away from each other so that our sentence makes sense. So for me, I'm just going to start with the state in the back, separate that out. And after that, we've got to isolate the city, which then leaves the street address all by itself as one single unit. So we're good. One more. They moved from Alabama to Charleston, South Carolina. Okay, so what do we have here? I see a state in Alabama, I see a city in Charleston, and I see another state in South Carolina. Okay, so how is this gonna work? Well, Alabama is all by itself. There's no city, there's no street address, it's just Alabama. And because of that, we don't need to do anything. No commas, no anything. However, with the other part, we will need commas. And that's because Charleston is a city in South Carolina, so those two things sort of work together to make one location. And of course, we just need to separate those things away from each other with a comma. Cool. Well, whether you came here for a refresher or are just now learning this stuff for the first time, I hope this video helped. Be sure to check out the free practice down in the description, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.